Hey guys, so it is currently April 15th, I believe, and today is the first day of the Blue Do De Blue Duke Blue Devil Days, and this is basically where all the admitted students get to come and sort of meet each other and go through like a whole campus tour and go through a bunch of different welcome ceremonies and things like that. And I wanted to bring you guys along to it, so I apologize for the lighting. It's still very dark outside. It's only 6.13 right now, but I do want to show you guys my fit. I really like the shirt because I ordered this vintage Duke shirt and I thought it was super cute. I'm just wearing some um, denim shorts with it. So yeah, this is just going to be my fit for walking around Duke today. I live about two and a half hours away from Duke. So that's why we had to get up so early because I want to be there at 830. So yeah, anyways, I'm basically just going to bring you guys along today as I go around and tour Duke. So anyway, let's go. For the car ride, I have my school backpack which has like my binders in it so I'm gonna try to do some studying for my AP exams because they're literally in like less than two weeks. I also have just like this like little satchel that has like my book in it, another book in it, phone obviously so I can like watch Netflix or like make TikToks or something. I also have some food and a water bottle and yeah, I like, I feel like you can tell, like, I'm so tired. This week has been so insanely busy. I've woken up at 5 a.m. like three times this week because I've started my new job. So, needless to say, I'm a little bit sleep deprived, but I'm so excited for today. Like, I cannot wait to tour Duke, which is potentially where I'll be going to school, so. made it to Duke. We're currently in the parking lot and we're about to go toward the campus, I think. I don't really know. We have to like go check in and do a whole bunch of stuff, I think. But um, I don't know how much talking there's gonna be from me. Okay, so I know that I did not explain that well at all really, but we had to start off by walking about a half mile down the road from the parking garage to I believe it was the Bryant Center where we had to check in. And they basically just like gave me a name tag and I'll show you guys in a, in a couple of future clips, but we saw this weird camel statue. So if you go to Duke, let me know what that camel statue is all about. And I was just enamored by all of the architecture and how all of the buildings looked. And Duke definitely has its own unique vibe. And it's, it's a cool mix between like modern, as you guys can see with this clip, but also like historical brick. And I just think it's really, really cool looking. Um, but I will say the East Campus is a whole different vibe than West, but I'll show you guys more clips of that later. Um, we saw the chapel. It was really, really cool. If you go to Duke, then like, you know about the chapel, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like the main Duke sort of thing. So I just checked in. I got a backpack. It's bustling in here right now. Some free food.
at around 10.30, we had to all go into this big auditorium and sit through a couple of lectures sort of just about Duke and how they like support their students. And then there was another one later on Quad X. All right, so the first like intro session just finished up and now we're waiting for the second little chit chat talking thingy all about the Quad X. Housing and learning, I don't even know. that's when things got pretty interesting so the way that this day worked is that they actually split me and my parents up I had to go to East Campus which is where all of the freshmen live with all the other students and then my parents stayed on West Campus and had lunch so you guys can see me I'm with all the other admitted students and we are all being bused to East Campus which is about five minutes away you guys can see definitely a different vibe it looks more like UVA if you've ever been there then we went into Lily Library, which was kind of cool. And then after that, me and a couple other girls, and obviously everybody else, go have lunch. And I got some really, really yummy Asian food. The only con was that I did have to stand in line for like 45 minutes to get it. But if you ever go to Duke, you know that they have the best freaking food. Like, it was so good. And the people I talked to were really, really cool. So... It was overall a really like cool afternoon just to get to talk to everyone else who had been admitted and then we also went to the East Campus gym which you guys know me I freaking love going to the gym so getting to see this Duke primarily freshman gym was really really cool it did not have the biggest weight room I will say um, I was a little underwhelmed but I know that the West Campus gym is way bigger so that's the one I'm mostly excited to see the next time that I go but, you know, for a gym that's like really close to all of the other dorm houses, it was really nice. I'm touring Trinity and it's nice. We have freaking pool table, ping pong table. Okay. So this was really all we got to see of the dorm situation. We didn't actually get to go in any dorms, which I was definitely bummed about. And this was definitely the nicest residence hall that I've heard of. I've heard that there are a couple ones that are definitely not as nice as the Trinity dorms. But after all of that, we went back to West Campus. We broke up from all the students. I went back to my parents and then I went to this little coffee shop and I got myself a chai tea because I wanted to take advantage of the free um, drink. And then I got a metal straw too which is free they just had like this bucket full of that and honestly that was kind of it so we're back in the parking lot now and we just finished up the tour and doing all of the orientation stuff so that's basically it for this video i am gonna like voice over a lot of it because i know that i wasn't really talking i didn't want to like be talking when i was like walking around with other people so yeah it was really fun yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye